Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm gonna do a Q&A. So my name is Destiny Stevens. Yes, Destiny is my real name. Believe it or not, like I have it on my ID. People ask me, they're like, it's not your real name. You're right, it's not. I just made it up. Although, if I were to be a stripper, I wouldn't have to change it. Just kidding. Um, I'm 21 years old. I'm from Sudbury, Ontario. Why did I start fitness? I started fitness when I was around 15 years old. I was always in sports and like playing volleyball, dance, I was a gymnast. Um, I stopped all sports after high school and just started working out at the gym. Um, I was diagnosed with depression and in, like severe anxiety and I didn't really know what to do. So I decided before trying any medications, I would try working out. Um, that's a whole other story for a different time, but that is the reason why I started. Favorite pet is a French Bulldog. They are my favorite things in the, in the world. I love them, they're so cute. I'm getting one in the summer because they are hard to train in the winter. So I'm getting one in the summer. My type of dieting, I get this question so much. Okay, so my type of dieting, like I eat, it's intuitive eating. Like I eat when I'm hungry, I don't eat when I'm not. I, I did a competition and I did that dieting and I find I become very obsessed with it. Like I got really shredded. If you could tell here, I'll post a picture. Um, I got really shredded, but I was obsessed. Like I didn't go out, I didn't eat out, I didn't. I ate protein, rice, chicken, and vegetables every day, all day. I worked at a gym, so it was super easy. Um, but again, mentally, I was not sound. Like I was kind of crazy. I found so I don't want to go back to that dieting. Really, I really want to be that lean again, but I'm gonna slowly do it by just eating healthy and exercising a lot and see where it takes me that way. Meals consist of, I'm gonna bring you guys on like one of my shopping trips. Actually, I'm going to Costco today, so maybe I will do it today. But um, right now I kinda eat everything, but healthier, like chicken stuffed with asparagus, uh, stuffed peppers, rice, vegetables. I kinda just eat everything without weighing it right now and seeing how that works for me. How tall are you? I'm 5'7 and a bit. Yeah, I'm pretty tall for a girl. Um, my favorite machine would be a cable tower. I think if you have cables, you're pretty much set for everything. How many hours do you work out a day? Uh, I would usually do a morning and a night session when I'm like really intense into the gym. Uh, but roughly around two hours a day, seven days, six to seven days a week. Right now, I haven't been to the gym in over three weeks from moving, and that's no excuse. I just, but I'm gonna start today. Today's the day. I was gonna start like January 2nd, but I have time today, and there's no excuse not to. We all have the. I'm not, and I'm not like one of those people that are gonna fake what I don't do, like I will vlog everything. If I'm lazy, you're gonna see I'm lazy. I'm a very emotional person, so I find my training, my dieting, um, kind of depends on how I'm feeling, what's happening in my life. Like when I was shredded, I was going through a really hard breakup, family problems, like I kind of just, like it was easy for me not to like food at the time really, and it, I got really shredded. Like I spent a lot of time at the gym because there's so much in my mind. Where like now I'm so happy and where I am and I want and like I love food and I just um, I'm doing other things than the gym. So you guys are gonna you guys are gonna see a lot of uh, my roller coaster, but I still maintain my body and I'll show you how to without like working overworking and like being super strict with your diet. What do you prefer to keep out of your diet? Sugar, carbs, or trans fat? Uh, I'm gonna say sugar. I am not a sugar lover. I don't really like junk food. Um, I'm a carb fanatic. I love anything that's carbs I love. Um, I'm gonna do more about the food in like a food vlog and like a dieting so then I can go right into everything. This is kind of just a base to get to know me a little more. 
Where do I want to live? Oh my god. California or LA has been my dream since I was little. I want to be in the States. They're so freaking bad. Like, I will go there. Um, I'm working towards it now. My New Year's goals. Um, I have so many. Like, I haven't been able to sleep properly because my mind is just everywhere. I'm working with so many amazing people. I'm going to go to the States. I want to go to Olympia. I want to create a fitness app for you guys. Obviously, you guys know that I'm coming out with some butt lifting leggings and um, those are going to be released in the new year. There's not really much I could tell you besides I'm working on them and they're going to be amazing. I'm so fussy with leggings so it's going to be exciting to create my own brand in the way I like them. So yeah, those are some new year's goals. I want to work with a lot of photographers, work more with you girls. I've been kind of slacking with fitness and going to modeling a little bit because I haven't been in the gym but I'm going to go right back to fitness and help you guys achieve your goals. My favorite cheat meal would have to be chicken parm. Every restaurant I go to, I order chicken parm. Like, I don't, If you don't have chicken parm, forget about it. I get chicken parm everywhere. Um, that and pizza and probably alcohol are the things I cheat with the most. How much do you weigh? So I never weigh myself. I don't even know what I weighed on stage for my competitions. Like I, my trainer knew, but I didn't know because I don't think you need to know. Like I never know my weight and I know when I'm happy with my body. So I don't believe in weighing myself. Not that if you do, like that's totally fine. But just mentally, I don't like to weigh myself and know how much I weigh. Cause to me, it does not matter. If I had to guess, so I would guess like 135 to 140 right now. Why do I have a deep voice? Um, I contacted God about that, but he's a very busy man. So when he gets back to me, I will let you know. How to deal with anxiety. So obviously, you know, I deal with depression, anxiety. I've never opened up. I don't talk about it because I feel like it's such a broad topic and everyone suffers from it, which in the society, if you don't, I wish to be you because everyone gets anxiety and everyone's always comparing, social media, people get depressed because of that, depression is like a big thing in life. So some ways I deal with it, I'll, I'll make a video on it, like how I learned to cope, I went to counseling, I've been on medications, I've tried gym, CBD, or CB, CBDs, CBDs, THC. Obviously, if you follow my Snapchat and stuff, you guys know that. So I will share how I coped and I've been off medications and how I did that. How does it feel that you're insta-famous? I'm not even close. I really don't think anything much of it. I just get super excited when like my posts get repost or until I'm like Paige Hathaway. I'm gonna keep working towards it. My blessed tattoo. Oh yes, this is a big freaking thing. Okay, so my tattoo, I wanted blessed from like everything I've been through. And I was at my tattoo shop and I was gonna get it on my wrist. And I thought that was like, oh, like at the time everyone was getting like anchors, like birds, all of those like symbols on the wrist. So I was gonna get blessed and then I went to my tattoo shop and I was kind of looking on Pinterest for like other ideas where I would want to get it. And that's when the fitness model Kate, Katea Elise Henry, uh, she came up and I was like, wow, that, I obviously love the butt area and I wanted my tattoo so I got it there. And I didn't even know her on Instagram at the time, like it was just, she was on Pinterest and every idea comes from idea like when people show me what tattoo they want, they pull up a picture on Google, so it's not like anyone's very original, like people get anchors and birds and everything from other people's ideas, so I'm not trying to be like her, obviously we're nothing alike. The best advice you can give, um, stop caring what other people think is the biggest thing I've like these people, their opinions don't matter. They don't pay your bills. They don't care about you. They don't, they wouldn't even probably know if you died tomorrow. So why would I care what they think about me? I know I'm a good person. These people over Instagram have no idea who I am. It's just, they see me post pictures and they wanna 
slut shame or call me whatever it is but um they have no idea who I am as a person so I'm not gonna let their opinions affect me which is very hard to do like I read the comments and I'm like apparently this whole be gone thought thing is like a new trend um which is stupid to me but people suck so you're gonna have to deal with it and like it's something you sign up for if you're gonna be posting yourself over social media I read this thing where there's the three rule like one person will hate you one person will love you and one person won't care so follow that like do the things for the people who love you and support you and what do I do for fun um I used to be like a huge go out party all the time now I kind of like I love staying in watching Netflix um I'm no I'm a very like no in between kind of person. I'm an all or nothing, or very slow or very fast, or impulsive person. So it's either I'm like going hard partying, or I'm like not leaving the couch. Like there's really no in between. And right now I'm the I'm not leaving the couch. But it's New Year's, so I'm gonna figure something out. But um, yeah, for fun, I watch movies. Eating pizza is fun to me. What keeps you motivated? Um, obviously, looking at my old pictures makes me so sad. Um, I want to get back there, so that helps motivate me. I just have to go on Instagram, and my whole Instagram's like fit girls. So yeah. Um, I'll probably do like a Q and A like once a week, but you guys should comment what you want from me in the comments and what you guys want to see more of. Today I'll try to do a grocery shopping one and I'll do vlogs and traveling and my fitness journey. I was thinking because I'm not in the greatest shape again, I've been out for three weeks and I've lost some muscle and gained some fat. I'm going to show you guys how to get to where I was step by step, day by day with me. And you guys can do it along with me and follow my workouts and my eating. And I think it will help me keep or stay on track as well. So like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.